Um, <laughs> Uh, today, I know it's a little bit different setup um, on this video today. I got a ring light. I figured out it was my dad that sent it to me. It's very sweet of him. So um, hopefully the lighting looks a little bit better. Um, I don't know if you guys all care, but I actually looked in the mirror today before I started this video. <laughs> um, I also put on some makeup today. I don't know. I'm looking a little sweaty <laughs> trying to get ready and trying to get my kids out of the room and all this stuff. Um, also I wanted to say because I have this ring light and, um, because I'm really into makeup and some of you showed some interest in that, um, I do want to maybe do some makeup videos this week. Um, let me know in the comments if you guys are even interested in that. Some more people. Um, I don't think I'll start with like, looks like this. Um, but I thought I'd start first. Tell me if this is interesting at all with a, just a very basic everyday hurry and get ready. I'm going to work at 4 a.m and wear a mask all day long at work. <laughs> that kind of makeup look. Yes, I do wear makeup to work every day. Even, sorry, my daughter's out in the hallway. I tried to shut the door, but it's kind of loud. Sorry if you hear that. Um, I just like to wear makeup on my face. Am I made up every single day like this? Absolutely not. Um, Jossie, shut the door, please. Um, thank you. Um, but I do do basic makeup every day. Mostly, most important is that I put my sunscreen on every day. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. I also thought that I would do, um, I have a ridiculous amount of makeup. So I thought that I would do some of my first videos would be like makeup collection that I have starting like with eyeshadow palettes or, um, makeup brushes or anything like that. My collection is much smaller than it used to be. Since I've gotten into vendor wax and candles and stuff like that, I have really cut down on what I've bought um, in the makeup world or even followed in the makeup world. But if you guys are interested in that, let me know. I'm sorry about the eye contact. I'm trying to learn to look that way. <laughs> um, but please let me know. I don't do a lot of wild makeup looks. I can. I'm able to. I just don't because it's not me. Um... I love looking at wild makeup looks. So like bright colors, especially like, um, like people on Instagram that do like horror makeup looks like Halloween or making it look like their, you know, chin is like a mouth and bloody. I love looking at that stuff, but that's just not me on a daily basis. So anyway, I'm rambling. Sorry about this. This video is supposed to be about Soul's Inspiration Candle Co. <laughs> um, someone, uh, Michelle runs the company. Uh, I have ordered from her before. She is so sweet. Every time, both times I've ordered from her, she sent immediately sends me an email saying, thank you. Your support means so much. Um, you can just tell her heart is really in it and she really loves doing what she does. Um, I made this small order on June 25th. I got it yesterday, which I believe was June 6th. <laughs> um, it did take a little bit July 6th. I'm so sorry. I ordered it June 25th and got it yesterday, July 6th. Um, it did take a little bit longer to get to me, but she stayed in communication because the big uh, bar that I ordered, she didn't have any left uh, at the time. And so she said, I can give you a different bar or you can wait a little bit longer and get the scent that you ordered it in. And I said, oh, I'll wait longer. That's that's absolutely fine. So it took a little bit longer. So it doesn't usually take that long to get to you, just so you know. But she sent, so this is just such a sweet little order. Um, she sent some little extra goodies um, that I'm excited to show you. And um, I think I'll be ordering from her more. So let's start off with, um, she first sent a card and it has my name on it. And it just says, thank you so much. Um, and it's just really sweet. It just says, thank you so much for your continued support. And I appreciate you, uh, heart or love, Michelle. Um, that means a lot. And I think that's really sweet of her. Like, I feel that she truly cares for her customers when I get packages like this. So, uh, and then she sent this little bag, um, full of little samples and some cute little stickers, which I thought was really sweet. Let me show you the stickers first. Cause I like them quite a bit. Um, this first one says go into the world and do well, but more importantly, go into the world and do good. Ugh, right. That doesn't make you a little bit emotional about the world right now. I don't know. And the next one right now says, what if I fall? Oh, my darling, what if you fly? So I will definitely be putting these in my house or on my wax or makeup, maybe somewhere. Um, and her little bag, sorry, on the other side does say, thank you for some supporting our small business. 
Um, me and my husband have a big belief in supporting small business, so we do it a lot. Um, she also did send her, sorry if I'm saying I'm a lot. <laughs> she also did send her card here. Um, I'll try to remember to put it, the information, sorry, in the description box as well. It's a little blurry. Um, and so she has a Facebook group, it looks like, an IG group, and then there's a Gmail address on here too that you can communicate with her on. Um, so let me start with the samples. The first one is Sun Your Bum. It's copper tone type. Um, let me get it out so you can see it better. So cute. I love this shape. A little love with a little bit of extra color. And it smells just like copper tone really strong. I love copper tone. I love beachy scent. So I'm excited. And this one looks like I'll just probably melt this um, whole thing. Be a perfect size for that. This next one's really teeny tiny. Uh, it's called Clean Baby's Bum. Um, and it's really tiny. Let's see next to my head. This one smells like baby powder. Um, and something maybe clean mixed in. It's a little like rosette. Oh, you can see that. Uh, white, it looks like to me. Um, sorry, once again, I'm I'm a little bit colorblind in on certain colors. And so if I if I say something's a color and you can clearly see it's different, just go with it. I'm sorry. Um, and then one more or two more samples. This one's called Jammies. It's a little owl. He got a little bit messy in the mail. That's okay. I think he's, he's purple or blue or gray. And it's lavender for sure. Maybe like a toasted marshmallow or something in there. Um, but really good. I like that one. And it smells really strong. Uh, even that little tiny melt. And then one more, this is B Davis. This is one of her classic scents, um, that she, I've seen on her website quite a bit. Um, and she sent two little, these, uh, floral squares, like from a brittle bar. And this one's, it's a bakery scent. Um, it smells really sweet. Uh, I, I believe Shantae sent me some of this too. Uh, it's really good. Yeah, maybe, I think, did Chante say it was a pistachio blend? I should have looked this up. She says that it's limited edition on here. Um, but I've, I've had it as a sample before from her, and I really liked it. Okay, so I didn't order too much. My order is four scent shots, scent shots, <laughs> and a wax melt bar. So the first uh, scent shot that I ordered is peach pie a la mode. Um, oh, I guess the uh, notes are not on here, but this... I believe it was peach, uh, pie crust, and ice cream. I'm mostly getting peach, kind of like a, a peach gummies, gummy ring scent. Um, and it smells moderate on cold. It has some really pretty like iridescent glitter on it. You can see, woo, throwing wax at myself. Um, but it smells really good. I love peach scents. Um, it's kind of hard to get peach right because there's peachy ring peach, and then there's like fresh peach, but sometimes, as I've heard some of other people in the wax world say, sometimes that fresh peach can either smell really delectable and juicy and delicious, and sometimes it smells like cat pee. So, this smells really good. I also got one more peach scent of hers, Graham's Peach Cake, and this one does have the scent notes on it. Sweet peaches, brown sugar, vanilla, and buttery cake. You can see there. This one also has, it has like some wax splatter for decor and also some of that iridescent uh, glitter shimmer on it. This one smells very similar to the other one. Um, kind of that gummy ring peach scent. I'm not really smelling cake or brown sugar, but maybe on warm, uh, we'll get there and see. Um, and it says this was poured in February, 2020, hand poured in Maryland, February, 2020. So this should be very cured, um, and we'll see how that goes. The next one here is called Raven's Roost. This one does not have the scent notes on it. This one to my nose, I've, I had this one before in my last little order, is a masculine, like a deep masculine smoky scent. I'm sorry, I should have grabbed the uh, notes. I don't know why I didn't. I'm getting better at this guys. I wrote some things down, but not the notes, right? Great job, Danny. Um, maybe I'll put it in the description below, um, what the notes are, but this one, um, I think it's purple and there's also some shimmer on there, maybe pink or purple. 
shimmer on there. Um, and it smells strong on cold. So I'm hopeful that that will be strong. It smells to me like there's some, um, some, uh, black sea in there maybe. So I don't know, but very strong. It almost like a mossy, like that masculine mossy scent. And then I got a little uh, cup of a scent shot called old books. And this smells really good. If I can get it out. Oh, she has some, so a couple of chunky glitters on there and little glitters. Um, a really pretty, I think light blue wax. This smells moderate in strength on cold. It definitely smells like books, like other companies, other vendors, books, um, scents, kind of that old age books, library, almost paper scent, which I like. Um, so we'll see how later in my empties, we'll see how strong that one was. Okay. So those are my scent shots. And then the last thing I got, first of all, let me tell you, she packaged this very well. This was bubble wrapped, tissue wrapped, um, in a box packed very well, but it did break. So it's a snap bar. You can see, um, and this is harvest festival. So, um, I believe this one was like apples, spices, caramel, but to me on cold, which I'm happy about, I'm mostly getting apple. So caramel is not something I really like in wax. It just smells too sticky. And like, I want to wash someone's hands. <laughs> I can't, I don't like the scent of it very much. I like to eat it, but so this to me smells like a lightly spiced, at like Mac apple scent. Um, it's looking lighter on camera than in person. I, once again, I think this is a pink, uh, wax, maybe, maybe it's orange, uh, with some pretty glitter on it. And she, so this one does, it has an old pour date on it, but I know for sure that she just poured it like this week. So I know that I probably need to cure this a little bit. Hers is a soy blend wax, so it does need to cure for a little bit. Um, but I'm excited to get into that for fall. So that's all I have for this um, video for this vendor. I hope to do to order more with her in the future. Sorry if I'm a little bit off on this video. It's my first one of the day and my kids are all out there yelling and I'm saying I'm a lot. So anyway, thanks guys for listening to me and for putting up with these videos. <laughs> thanks for watching. Uh, have a good day.